What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to add an Instagram feed to your WordPress website. Now this can also be done using Elementor but you don't have to be using Elementor on your website. We can just use that with the short code. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is of course log into WordPress and then head over to your WordPress dashboard. Um, I actually removed my WordPress bar so I'm actually going to go ahead and log in real quick. Let me minimize this actually. Totally forgot. And um, just so then I don't go back and forth here, I'm going to go ahead and enable my uh, toolbar here. Okay. So go head over to your plugins. And then um, you're going to need to install a plugin called Instagram Feed Gallery. Um, and if you're having trouble finding it, just type in, just go on here and type in Instagram Feed. And it's going to be this one right here. So go, oh, sorry, it's going to be this one right here. So just go ahead and install and activate this one here. And then head over to the you know, Instagram feed um, gallery. And then what we need to do is just log in. So click on account. And then we need to just um, go ahead and actually log into uh, to our to our account here. Um, so first thing we're going to do is delete this one here. And then you're going to want to add your account add new account and then um, I am I'm already logged into my Instagram account but pretty much just um, make sure you're logged into Instagram and then once you log in it's gonna ask you to authorize um, the plugin using inst using your Instagram and all you got to do is just authorize it so once you authorize that you're gonna see your Instagram page on here um, and you're only allowed to have one. I think on the pro version, you could probably have more accounts on here. But uh, I think you're just going to need one for now. So one account on here should work. Because um, that's how typically it is. One, uh, one Instagram account per website. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is you can just grab the short code there. And you can use it on your page. Um, so let's go ahead and click on. Um, go ahead and actually go into settings here. And then um, see here. There we go. It's right here. Oops. Right here. So we're gonna go ahead and go into feeds, and then just copy this feed. Now you can, if you're, um, I'm using Elementor. I usually use Elementor for uh, most of my websites, um, but it's 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 just a short code that you're gonna paste on. Um, on your uh, page so let's say this is your actual page I don't know you can call this um, the about page and then just uh, go ahead and you can you can click on here on this little plus and then search for short codes click on that and then just go ahead and add the short code and if we were to publish this and now I'll show you how to do this with Elementor as well I know a lot of you guys do have Elementor um, Okay, so it says we need to update the Instagram access token. Let me just go back here and see what's going on here. Go to account. I think we just need to update this token here. Let's go ahead. Uh, it seems that we're using the right one here. Using the gallery. Go ahead and catch this. Maybe that's what's going on here. Seems that we do have the right token going on. So let's go ahead and check that out again. See why that didn't work. All right. Let me. Maybe let's go ahead and try. Um, Try adding this again. That's so odd. That's not working there. <sighs> okay. Let's go into feeds. It says no username. Maybe that's why. Okay. Let's go ahead and make sure this one's selected. Let's save this. Let's see if that was the issue. Okay. I think that might have been the issue there. 
I just wasn't saved there. Okay, so now that that's resolved, let's go ahead and refresh this. And there we have it, our Instagram feed. Okay. Now that's how you would just get it on on um, on just uh, the Gutenberg um, editor, which is just your default um, page editor for uh, WordPress. Now I'm just going to show you how to add that to uh, Elementor. So, and then after that, I will show you how to stylize it as well. So let's go ahead and edit the home page with Elementor. And we're gonna go ahead and add our Instagram feed. Um, let's go ahead and remove this. And let's go ahead and call this Instagram feed. And then let's go ahead and search for short, for short codes here. Oops. Or let's see if, uh, if there's an extension for it. Okay, you can also use this as well, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the short code. I'm going to add it under there and I'm going to paste a short code in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and view this on the website. So here we have our Instagram feed, right? It's actually pretty clean. Um, now let's say we want to style as this, right? We want to make sure we want to have it kind of look a little better. Um, so head over let me actually refresh this see if my bar comes up here I'm gonna actually go on this page and go into your Instagram feed gallery go into um sorry feeds here and then just go ahead and edit your feed now you can have a carousel um, as well and then you can limit the amount of um, of images to display so let's say I only want to have two call two columns um, and then let's go ahead and save that and let's refresh this page here and we'll see that we only have two columns, but they are a lot. They are um, they are a lot bigger. So you know what we're gonna do. I think what we're gonna do instead is let's do four, and let's limit this to about eight. So that's basically just gonna have two. That's gonna just gonna leave two rows. I think it's clean enough. I don't think we need that many, right? So that we have it. We have about two rows, um, and let's say we want to change this button color. Sure we could do that as well. Um, at least you were able to back then. There we go. So um, Okay, so let's go ahead and change this maybe to what does this okay we can we can go ahead and make this yellow so I'm gonna actually grab this color yellow heel here, sorry. Um, and then head over here, and that color in there. If we did want to add a hover effect, we can. We can do, we can do black just to make that kind of clean. And I think I did save that, so let's go and refresh this. And there we go. Our button, our button now kind of goes with our website, and we can also change this as well if you wanted to. And you can even remove the button. You can also just um, uncheck that to remove the button. Um, there's also an image pop-up as well. So when people click on this, there's a pop-up. You can also adjust adjust, um, adjust that as well. Now the box, apparently we're not able to adjust that. So this is a this is an image mask. So this is basically the the, little, the hover effect that you see right here, where it's um where it turns black. Now you can change that as well. Let's see. You can maybe we can make this. Um, we can even make this orange if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and refresh this. Now when we hover over this, you'll see that it'll turn. Um, it'll turn yellow or orange, however you want to see it. It's more of a yellow though. Um, now we can even make this into a carousel. So we can go up to general. Now the rest you would have to um, you would have to upgrade to use any of these other ones, but I don't really necessarily think you even need those as well. So I think this will be fine. And then let's go ahead and actually try to change this um, this arrow color because that doesn't really go with their website. We probably want to make that black. Let's see if they do have the option for that. 
Um, let's see if we can find it. it. Should be in carousel, maybe. Navigation color. Let's make that black. Let's go and refresh this. Okay, so now that's black. It's a little better. May might be better actually. You know what? Might be better having that white instead. You can have this autoplay as well. So if you did want to autoplay that, and then you can have um the the amount of the amount of milliseconds on that. Um, let's go ahead and refresh this. As you can tell now, those are more viewable. Now these are slides per view. Seems like I only have three, but for some reason it says it says uh, five, which is kind of odd, right? So, see if we can adjust this. This, if not, that's fine. It still works out. So. Okay, well that's that still works for me anyway. So yeah, that is how you have that is how you add um, an Instagram feed to your website. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to subscribe and also like this video. I will greatly appreciate it. And 